goes at viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. A while back, I posted the video Minor Turbulence, where Trevor tried to take over a Meriwether plane that had weapons on it and ended up crashing it into the sea. And, well, you can actually salvage the wreckage. You don't get a lot out of it, but in order to salvage the wreckage, you must first get a dinghy. And then, once you get the dinghy into the Sea of Alves, or whatever the heck it is, you can go and scuba dive and salvage the wreckage. And that is what I'm doing right now, as I'm driving the dinghy toward the sea. But I'll go through the process of getting things. And the first thing you got to do is actually get the dinghy. Right now I'm showing you where the dinghy is located. Trevor is in trouble with the law. And yeah, what's new? The dinghy is over by the dry docks. And he wasn't close. And somehow, again, he got into trouble with the law. And he is now, there's the dinghy. He's in the water, and now Trevor has to get to the dinghy and escape the police. Yeah, this is not going real well. But let's get on with it. Now, Trevor has the dinghy. He has to get it to the entrance of the Zancudo River. And the reason you use the Zancudo River is the other river, well, it's got a waterfall that you can't overcome. The Zancudo River has rapids that you can overcome. And so it's a very long ride in the dinghy. So I'm just going to cut to the entrance of the Zancudo River. Now that we're at the entrance of the Zancudo River, I'm going to show you on a map. You can see it right here, and right here is where you have to bring the dinghy, and you got to bring it up the Zancudo River in order to get to it. The river, other river, you won't be able to use because, again, it has a waterfall at a certain point that you can't get over using the dinghy. Whereas the dinghy itself has a powerful enough engine to get it upriver through some uh, minor rapids and stuff to the sea. And as you see, I'm sending Trevor up this river. It's going to be quite a long journey. And again, you can navigate it and get to the Sea of Alves or whatever the heck it is. This is about three minutes compressed into nine seconds. Yeah, you can get up the sea to the sea. It will just take a little bit of time. Now we're at the Sea of Alves or whatever the heck it is. I keep mispronouncing it, but you got to find out where the Meriwether plane has crashed. And that I can show you on the map with the sea. And once we've gotten Trevor here, I'll flip on the map, and the sea of the Meriwether Plain is located in the sea, and I'll show you right here. From where Trevor is currently located, it's right up here, toward, a, toward I want to say, the center area right here, just above the entrance into the um, Zancudo River. The Alamo Sea. There we go. The Alamo Sea. I keep calling it something. It's the Alamo Sea. And we're going to get over to this area. And then Trevor is going to jump in the water. And automatically his suit will come on to where he can uh, swim around and dive. And there you have it. You just got to dive down. Yeah, I had to pause the game, put it on the main ma map for a little bit. Now, Trevor is diving down, 
and swimming down and you can see the wreckage right there and you can see little bits of the plane the engine etc you'll find maybe a machine gun and some ammo and some other stuff i think if you look around a piece of body armor is somewhere but you really don't get a lot for all the effort you're going to put in to do this and it's just something fun to do if you are curious again here is the location on the map where this the airplane had crashed and yeah you can swim around and again explore there's a i think a rocket launcher or something over there you can pick that up yep looks like a rocket launcher and then there's like a machine gun and body armor and stuff around it's really just basic yeah it's something to do if you want to kill some time that's all this really is Yeah, this is just a time killer. I was starting to get a little bored trying to look around and find more stuff. You really got to comb over the entire wreckage. And it's very hard to navigate and very limited ability to see. I probably should have not done this at night, maybe at daytime when there's a little more light. I'm just going to fast forward through this a little more. There is, again, not much. I Just nothing so far interesting. And you just keep swimming around and swimming around. That's all I really did. And that's all this really video is. The problem is when you come back up, you wind up, the dinghy disappears, and you got to swim to the shore. The only cool part is this increases Trevor's lung capacity. Okay, I didn't realize how much swimming around I actually did, and I kept going over the same surfaces and through the same areas in order to try and find what really amounted to not a lot. I could understand if you want to do this, again, it's just to kill some time. If they had intended this to be an actual mission, there might have been something a little more um, valuable, like, Right now, I'm swimming around. I see something that, let's see if I can get a hold of it. Oh, over here. Again, you float around, and there's, yeah, I see something right here. It looks like a rocket launcher or something. Yeah, again, if this was truly a main mission, and they probably could have made it a main mission, you might have gotten more out of it this is about six minutes of swimming around compressed into i don't know something like uh 10 seconds but really yeah all you get is an increase in trevor's lung capacity i'm bringing him back to the surface Yeah, now the dinghy is gone and Trevor has to swim to shore. If you found this video interesting, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and specials and you really don't want to miss out. You want to stay informed. As always, Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.